Is there a firm that will do more for me than I have right now? Is there a firm that will grow with me? Is there a firm that will deliver on all of my biggest goals that I have? Again, it could be like building a team. It could be having your own office. It could be just being a solopreneur that has a lot of support when they need it. For the young people, we can put guardrails on you. For those that already have been in the business for a long time, tell us what you want. It's about opening different doors for people and giving them the opportunity to walk through. Uh, not every door is gonna be for you, but it's allowing them to find their own path and feel super fulfilled with what they're doing. You can't wake up every day and pretend to play a role. In order to be a really good advisor, in order to really love your life, you have to be authentically you. And that doesn't mean being different. That just means letting the light that's in you shine. And sometimes that takes other minds to help you find where that light is and direct you in a way that's gonna make that light shine brighter. I became an advisor 18 years ago. I completely understand the struggles of finding your own path in this industry. At times I felt lost, overwhelmed, and uh, there were a few times I thought I was gonna give up. It was about eight years ago when two remarkable individuals came into my life and they changed everything. They believed in me more than I believed in myself at that moment. They gave me mentorship and supported my growth so that I could find my own personal path. And that ignited this passion inside of me so that I could go forward and make sure that there's never an advisor out there that has to be as lonely as I was finding my path here because we all have one. For me, it's been an incredible experience to be able to look back and be so proud of what I've accomplished. And it was the team, uh, their support, mentorship, and the belief that I could do more than what you know I thought I was capable of. We're here to show you that there are people and places in this field that are genuinely rooting for your success. They don't want you to compromise who you are or not be able to live a very full life. They want you to use that full life. I look at our advisors and say all the time, the reason that the top is, has so much integrity is because how can I expect you to be good to your clients if we're not good to you? We believe that the solopreneur or the, the lone wolf is just a myth. Uh, we want to make sure that you're doing what you love to do 80% of the time and the rest, the stuff you're not good at, give it away. There's a lot of reciprocity that happens. You will, you know, come in and you're going to learn from all the other advisors. Then eventually you're going to be teaching the new advisors. As the advisor grows in their career and on their path, they might develop a team. We love being able to recruit to teams. That way we know not only the company is looking over our new advisors, but they also have a team of people that are looking over them as well. We want to take someone who comes in very green or has been in the business for a long time and get their practice to the next level. Everybody can be a very good advisor. You just need the mentorship, the support, the framework in order to get you there. The biggest takeaway at Rethink Well is that you don't have to compromise who you are, your values, your vision in order to build success. It's really more about embracing your authentic self, knowing what you're good at, knowing what you're not good at, and utilizing the company to get you to the next level. Let them give you the framework that is going to deliver the best life for you. The power of community is huge. Nobody wants to be out there all by themselves. If it's prospecting, writing an app, uh, talking to a client, especially about things that you may not have talked to clients about before. When you have a team of people, you're gonna be delivering the best message and options to your client. That's also gonna give you all of this confidence that we sometimes lack in this industry because we don't have people that we can rely on. We're told to just go figure it out. I remember when I was 22 years old, I got six months of training, I needed help with a client, and they told me they don't have time for me. When you're building and getting 1% better every single day, you're gonna be picking up new ways to approach people. You're gonna be giving new ways to approach people to other people in the office, and they're gonna be giving it back to you. That goes back to the whole community thing. But we always need to be getting better. We always need to be learning and changing because our plans for our clients are not static. They're completely dynamic. And it's our job to be coming up with great ways to get in front of people that add value. 
we're not pushing product over here. I'm not an insurance salesperson like Phil on Groundhog's Day. And I'm not just selling mutual funds. I'm creating a plan that is also dynamic, but I need to be sharpening my saw. I need to be making sure that I'm looking out for my client's best interests. My favorite thing about what we're doing, which is not typical of uh, most of the financial firms out there, is we're really embracing technology as an extension of ourselves. So this is not a way that we're just pulling leads from the internet. We've really been able to create brands for different people using uh, AI, uh, using microsites, helping them get on podcasts, doing videos just like this. We're trying to bust through all the clutter that's out there. The power of storytelling is very important to us. It is how we build trust, not only within our community here, but also with our clients. When you share the good and the bad as a community, it's much easier to go out into the world and be able to be prepared for when those things happen to you. We have a saying here that's work-life harmony, uh, which differs from what you might hear everywhere else, which is work-life balance. I don't personally believe in balance. There are some weeks where I do work more, but it's important to have a family-first culture. We want to step in when somebody has had something happen to them and their family and take care of their business for them. Um, just like they're gonna raise their hand every once in a while and they're gonna do something for the company. When you can work together in a harmony, everybody's in a better place. We're healthier, we're happier, and we're going to be more successful. The other way that we're mixing things up for advisors is providing them the professional resource group, which is within Rethink Wealth. Um, this was developed so that when we had larger agents come in, we could take the paperwork off of their desk. We could help them understand that, you know, we're not just selling one or two things. The entire world is open to them now. But it's really cool to watch new people come in and utilize that and get such a great mentorship from the people that are on the calls with them, that are doing the pre-calls. It allows our advisors to get back to what they do really well. Let's talk to people. Do you see how utilizing all of these insights, being able to have the company help you build a team, build a practice, uh, have all the resources at your fingertips, let it be technology or professional planning groups that can help you in markets you've never been a part of. This could be life-changing. Now, you are not just a little fish in a big pond. You're a big fish and you have all the opportunity at your fingertips. All you need to be able to do is get in front of the right people and say the right message. And you can be an incredible financial advisor, living your best life ever. So that's our offer. We're gonna take you from where you are today and transform you to achieve your biggest goals and dreams. We have the infrastructure, we deliver on our promises. We have the integrity that you need to take your practice to the next level. Imagine a company that believes in you more than you believe in yourself. Imagine a company that has the marketing support that you have only wanted or never could afford. What if we had technology to build a brand that you were super impressed with and got out to the communities that you're trying to reach? Imagine if you had a bad day, you have people that you can talk to that want to empathize with you. Imagine if you came in and you wanted to be so excited about a big deal and you had an entire company behind you that were celebrating with you. Imagine working at a firm where every single advisor had integrity. They left their ego at the door. They always were getting 1% better. Imagine if everyone around you was spitting out positivity. Think about how much happier your life would be and how much more of a positive person you would become. Listen, we're not just trying to build a bunch of successful financial advisors. We're trying to build a community, a tribe of people that are excited to go out into the world and do what we do best, which is change lives. We want you to be happy. We want you to be with your families. We want you to reach the top level of success that you may have never thought you were going to reach. We want to work together and build something that's bigger than one person. It's bigger than our communities. At the end of the day, the people that are crazy enough to believe that they can change the world will. There are probably a few of you that are still on the fence. Let us show you who we are. Meet our leadership team, meet our CEOs, meet the people that have built this place and you will feel the heart that has, this place has been built out of. But sometimes it takes taking a risk, 
doing something a little bit different to find out that it's the best choice you've ever made. Let's redefine what it means to succeed in this industry. Click the link below because your journey to mastery begins today.